five, four, three, two, one, ignition. We have liftoff. But unfortunately, it's a boat. The boat was designed to never blow over. Yeah, that was the idea, Ken. Ken Dryden and his crew thought they'd really hit on something when they designed the Miss Elan. Earlier in one of the qualifying heats of the Seattle Seafair Hydro Race, the Miss Bud boat ate it. Ken thought it could never happen to him. This is Ken's last qualifying run. He needs to win. He's got his boat up to about 160 miles an hour. Suddenly, the boat does what it's not supposed to do. It takes off and launches more than 100 feet in the air. Again in slow motion from Ken's point of view. We came out of the corner and uh, started down the back chute. And we hit a couple big rollers there. The boat just accelerates off the water and uh, it's like taking off in a fighter jet. You got that right, Ken. The impact it is just like falling off of a 10-story building and hitting the, the concrete. When the boat hit the water, you see the, the front of the boat severed. The, the driver's cockpit actually split right in front of my hips. The rescue divers grabbed the front of the cockpit, rotated back around so they could through my leg, get me out. Ken was busted up really bad. Three broken vertebrae, two broken legs, two broken ankles. He spent four months in a wheelchair. Ken's walking now, but this wipeout ended his hydro boat racing career.